I didn't even have to give him the introduction. He said it himself, the elite champion, Brandon Taggart. Brand new reign, having just won one week ago that championship. Overconfident because Christopher Michael Lotus is a quality of opponent for sure. Hey, 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 hey sir. And he looks ready to go. Standing in the ring, he is a former PTW heavyweight champion, but as certainly proved to be one of the shortest reigning title reigns ever. And Lotus more than capable of taking that championship from Brandon Taggart, but it will be no easy task, that is for sure. Without a doubt, this is going to be a great one. Tonight is challenger from Cincinnati, Ohio. Please welcome Christopher Michael Lotus. One fall, 30 time limit. That is for sure. Well, he's demanding applause. Apparently not getting what he's looking for. <laughs> Lotus making fun of the champion now. Playing a few mind games. Raise the ire of the champion for sure. <laughs> Referee checking Lotus. And now looks over the champion. <laughs> Just from Michael Lotus pumping this crowd up. Oh yeah, he sees that gold. He wants that gold and he knows he can take that gold home, that gold home tonight. But it's not going to be easy. There's the bell. This one officially underway. Collar and elbow tie up. And Taggart immediately showing that size advantage. As he backs Lotus into the corner. Three. Oh! Tried for a cheap shot. But Lotus a little too smart for that. Haggard a little frustrated. But Lotus is a veteran of this sport. He has seen it all. He's done it all. Haggard again showing the power. And nobody home again. Come on, come on, let's go. But clearly that strategy's not going to work. He better rethink it. And Lotus staying one step ahead at all times. But again, that power coming into play. And again, nobody home. Big drop kick. Sends the champion outside. That was 
one heck of a drop kick to take a man the size of Brandon Taggart out in. Whoa. This time Taggart getting out of the way. Oh, ho, ho, but not that time. Unforgiving steel post. Oh, right in the small of the spine. Oh. And Taggart immediately goes to work on that spine. Some serious damage may have occurred there. Count up to six already. Great clubbing forearm. Wow. More damage to that spine. Back in the ring now. And Lotus is clearly hurt. Champion going for a cover, but kind of a nonchalant cover. No way he was going to get a pinfall with that. And now setting him up again, going to work on that spine, driving the knee. To twist those vertebrae up a bit. And it is tough to come back from that kind of an injury. But Lotus seems to be doing just that sunset flip. Can he get him over? Oh. No! No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. The big bad one, Brandon Taggart, just proved to be too big for that maneuver. And now continues to work on that back. Yeah, I'm doing very good. Ah. Doing very good, but he had to use the steel post. <laughs> but I guess you do whatever you have to when the gold is on the line. Got ah. that reverse chin lock on now. And oh, now into kind of a camel punch. Yes. He's trying. He's trying. But Lotus again staying one step ahead and manages to avoid it. Again, no clean break there. Come on, man. My but credit to Lotus for yeah. avoiding that. Yeah. Big ear clap, another one. And a third one. Stunned the champion just a bit. But a reverse. Oh, oh. Did you see him crash into that corner? I think the whole ring moved. That could be it. One, two. Only a two. Yeah. Goes back to that reverse chin lock. I don't know, I think Taggart is missing an opportunity. He should be driving that knee into the spine. It's already been damaged. It was close, but I don't, I don't know if he's focusing on it anymore. Perhaps a little frustration coming up. Oh! But again into that corner. And again, further damage to that spine. And Taggart setting him up now. Oh, but a drop to hold it, Taggart! Into the post this time! This could be an opportunity for Lotus. Can he regroup? Taggart is clearly, clearly hurt after running into that steel post. Desperation move almost on the part of Lotus, but it paid off. Now can he capitalize? Nobody home for that drop kick. And Taggart missing the splash. Ah! Lotus trying to reach down for something deep inside. Oh, a boot from Taggart now. LA kick. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. What's going on here? Lotus sees him. But he's taking his eye off the champion. That's about it. Whoa! That could be it. One, two. He got him. Tremendous victory. champion, but not without a lot of destruction. We'll be
me back, friends. Be one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And if you like tag team wrestling, this next match is going to be a good one. It features two of the top tag teams in the Tri State area. They're both right here now with Frank Time. Home. 
for the forearm drop. Hollywood Swayze continuing to use that right hand. Down on the bread back basket that time actually took Ricky Cardinal down. Well, that just goes to show you he's no slouch. Tell him anymore, disqualify him, ref. He's choked numerous times, despite your warning. Oh, no! Ricky Cardinal into that steel post. Oh. And now working on that elbow. And pulling on the shoulder as well. Ricky trying to shake it off a bit, but Adam Swayze right behind him, and he is relentless. Look at him now, over that guardrail. Throws that hammerlock on right over top that guardrail, putting extra pressure on that shoulder. Oh! Onto the ring apron with all of his might. Ian just long enough to break the count. Goes right back outside and right back to work on that injured shoulder. Wazy said he's not going to leave him alone. He's going to break his arm. Well, that is very possible if he continues to work on it like he's doing. Tried to mount a comeback, but didn't have much behind it. Oh! Well, he's definitely doing the right thing. He sees the injury on Ricky Cardinal, and he's working on it. That's what you got to do to be successful in this sport. Another right hand by Hollywood Adam Swing. Oh, come on, now he's choking him again. Why does he have to do that? He's winning the match fair and square. And a boot to the shoulder now. Oh, he's got to fix his hair in the ring. What he's doing, he's giving Ricky Cardinal a chance to recover. And now Ricky Cardinal takes advantage of the situation with a few right hands of his own. And Swayze feeling the effects. Oh, but look at that. Wisely goes right back to the injured shoulder. Both of these individuals so well trained. They spent so many hours training day in, day out to continually be the best that they can possibly be. Oh! Notice the way he set that arm up, set him set up on his wrist, stomped on the elbow, which pulled on the shoulder as well. Hit multiple joints with one shot that time. And look, now he's doing it again. Why does he continue to re resort to that? Referee's threatening him with disqualification. Ricky Cardinal's going to have to mount some kind of a comeback here soon. And the crowd getting behind him. He's clearly hurting, but he keeps fighting as well. After a right hand. And we slip into the corner again now. Big Lariat! That enough! Hits him up again. Irish whip. Fireman's carry. The ball is dropped. He is done. This is the opportunity Ricky Cardinal's been looking for. And it looks like he's going up to the top. Way a big elbow drop. Not going for the cover. The 
could be a mistake. Well, he's got it on. Real Swayze top. Real Swayze top. Listen to the scream. The screams of pain of Swayze. But look out. Alex Hayden. Where'd he come from? And Cardinal calling him in. But look out from the other side. Derek Neal. Oh! And the ref is distracted. Finally, the referee sees it. And he calls for the bell. What else can you do? Come on. It's just three against one. And Ricky Carter with no choice. With no choice but to try to escape. How can you ask a man to fight three on one with only one arm? You know! This is brutal! And they're not finished with him yet! Throwing him back into the ring!
tonight, our challenger for the heavyweight title, please welcome Star Rider! One fall with a 45 minute time limit. And there it is. Lord Crucis, not yet. The champion is questioning the size of the challenger. That's something you do not want to do. Do not underestimate the Star Rider. And there it is. The big gold belt representing the heavyweight champion of primetime wrestling. Currently held by Lord Crew. There's the bell. This one officially underway. Star Rider immediately asking for the approval of the crowd. Lord Crew, I do not believe, is impressed. There we go! Well, we know who the crowd is behind now. Lord Crew says he doesn't care if the crowd likes him or not. That's the new champion around here. That is the point. You don't have to be liked. But when you've got that championship belt, just remember that everybody will be gunning for you. Got our elbow tie up here. Whoa! Lord Cruz shows us that power. He is a powerful man, that is for sure. I mean, just take one look at look at the man, and you can see he is in fantastic condition. Spends a lot of time in that gym. Star Rider might be smaller, but he is one of the fastest individuals I've ever seen. Another counter and attack. Wow! Just tosses him across the ring. That was pure power. <laughs> Champion just manhandling the challenger. Oh, big chop! And Star Rider felt that one. Star Rider moves out of the way and gives several forearm shots of his own. Kicks to the knee. But that champion again just pushes him away. Now Star Rider utilizing that speed. That's what he's gonna have to do. Big drop kick! Standing drop! Did you see how high he got with that? Oh, but Lord Crew caught him! Star Rider manages to get out! Uh -oh. This time Lord Crew was waiting for him! But then Lexi Gree oh. A case of the numbers games catching up. That is very, very unfair to have someone on the outside. Particularly someone who's going to interfere like that. Two count only. Star Rider may have totally forgotten about Lexi Green on the outside. It's definitely going to have to be on his mind throughout the rest of the match. Oh! Wide open for that shot. Takes him down. Oh! Kick to the spine. I practically felt that one myself. Now for the cover. Hope's the league. One, two. Not really a horizontal press there. Just kind of uh, hovering over him a bit. Perhaps taking the challenger too lightly. I do not believe this one is over by a long shot. So come on out. So he's got him on the ropes. Oh, he is, he is right. He did hit the full count. Lexi Green there attacking again. I don't know. If I was Star Rider, I probably would have brought somebody out here with me myself. To counter the interference of Lexi Green. Whoa! A lot more power in the kicks of the champion. And Star Rider to the after. Oh, but he holds on. Oh, but ran right into that elbow. Met 
with a powerful, powerful elbow. And look at that Lexi Green again. While Lord Crew keeps the referee distracted. Come on, she's working on the leg. And look at her, just trots away like, oh, I didn't do anything. And now, the challenger at the mercy of Lord Crew. Lexi Green, get, just keep her off the apron. And look at that, look at that Lord Crew. Using that guardrail to work on the knee. Well, that's definitely something that will slow the Star Rider down, take out one of his wheels. He will not be as fast. Definitely a good idea, but not with that kind of interference. Star Rider trying to find his way back up, and look at that. Continues to work on the knee. Lord Crew knew exactly. Oh, wow! He forgot there was another foot there. But I don't know if Star Rider is going to be able to get back to his feet. Clearly, his knee is hurting. And he is completely at the mercy of a champion. Again, working on that knee on the ropes. The referee laying in the couch. Oh! Oh, you can hear the pain from the Star Rider. He is definitely hurt. Oh, yeah, we've already seen what you've done, Lexi Green. You've done the damage already. Don't act so innocent. Oh, from behind! Roll up! Well, that could be it, no! Big running lariat! Powerful, powerful lariat! Stop the Star Rider in his tracks! Star Rider trying to take advantage of a situation, but the power of Lord Crew just too much. Was he going after that mask? Keep him off that mask. That's illegal. Star Rider trying to fight his way back up. But Lord Crew just powered him back to the mat. Threw him down like yesterday's garbage. And now focusing on that knee again, it looks like. Setting him up. Oh! Right to the kneecap. Piper extending that knee. Look at that. His knee must be going numb. The Star Rider's trying to get the blood flowing. Oh! I'll be honest, I don't know how much more this Star Rider can take. That attack by Lord Drew has been focused on that knee. Irish Whip now throws him all the way across. Here he comes, but nobody's home. That's about all Star Rider could do at that point. Lord Drew's coming by again, and again, Star Rider out of the way. But here he comes, big one foot and drop kick. Another one foot and drop kick. He's clearly hurting by giving it everything he's got. Oh! He may have knocked the wind out of it with that one foot. Still, only a one count. So much power in the tent. Champion just caught him with that forearm. And now he's got him up. No, he does not. Star Rider reverses it. Knee lift. And now it looks like Star Rider's going to the top. Putting it all on the line. Lord Cruz sees him. Oh, bicycle kick. That could do it. Oh, They got him. Match is over. Nine minutes, three seconds. The winner, your prime time wrestling heavyweight.
number two, I thought Shady Land Acres Retirement Home had a bedtime. So if you got something to say, it looks like you got about another half hour before they turn the lights out on you, old man, so get it off your chest. Anybody back there? I can meet anybody. Hell, I just wanted to come out and join the party. I didn't want you to have all the fun. And with that being said, I would also like to let you
fight. The Baron of Brawling, the monster from Mad Sea Grease, he is the one and only, the Titan. Maybe you got a little excited and was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I know that. But what you need to know, what you need to know, is you can come with us. And the keys of the fight would be stronger than ever. So all you got to do is make the right decision. Think about it, kid. You know where you belong. Make the right decision, son. You know where you belong. Is he going to take the offer? Check his hand. I would be the most surprised individual here. Takes on Chris Majors. Whoa! That long reach of Chris Majors coming into play right there, but Titan fighting his way out. Titan considers himself to be the true king of the fight. Whoa! Solid elbow there. One. One count only. Several right hands now by Majors. And on the outside right now, the owner of PTW, King Hustle himself. No doubt he's going to be some kind of a distraction out there for Titan. Oh! Changing shots now! Kicked by the Titan! Whoa! But stop cold in his track! Now for the cover one. Two count. Two count only. Chris Major's a big, big man. Feeling that he's not getting the opportunities he feels are his due. And now taking it out on the Titan. Throws him to the outside now. Both men. Oh! European uppercut on the outside. And into the ring apron. Head first. Now it looks like he's setting him up. Nope. And Titan fires back. Come on, Major! And both men exchanging right hands right now. This is definitely. Oh! Oh! On the ring apron! They just couldn't get it here. One! Two! Oh! That was close. That was so close. Major slam on the apron, the unforgiving apron. Titan is no doubt. And now he's choking up. Blatant choke right in front of the referee, risking disqualification. An all out fight for sure. Several more solid right, right hands right to the jaw. Obviously you care, you're running now. Right. But right now, Chris Major seems to be getting the best of the Titan. Look at that, right.
right hand after right hand after right hand. And now picking that Titan up. Big headbutt by that Titan. But he invites the boot from Chris Majors, who delivers and an elbow drop. Oh, come on, choking again. Come on, referee. If he's going to continue to do that, you've got to disqualify him. Hello, looks like he's setting up now for that major slam. That big choke slam of his. And he's got him. But the Titan manages it to escape. And a big short arm clothesline. That looks to be curtain for Titan. But he's still in this fight. Major back to his feet first. But he's a little groggy. His running elbow. Flying elbow that time. Finally down, and Titan looks like he's going to the top. And listen to that crowd behind him. He better not waste any time getting up there, though. Titan, he's up there. He's way up there. Big double stop. He could get him here. One. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Majors managing to kick out at two and three quarters. A tough, tough individual for strength. Titan says this time it's over. He's got him up. Uh oh. Majors got out of it. He rolled him up. One, two, go. Oh. Titan perhaps getting a little overconfident. Both men clearly groggy here. It's been a tough battle thus far. And he's going for it again. But Titan again escapes. Right hand European uppercut combination. With the double action. Oh! And he caught him with that boot. One. I did not believe what I have just seen. That had to be the closest, the closest to a three count I have ever seen. What intestinal fortitude on the part of the Titan reaching down deep inside. This may come down to who makes the first big mistake or who gets the next big move in. And again, these two men just exchanging right hands. And saying, give it to me. I can take it. Can you take it? Both men groggy. I cannot believe they're both still standing. This is definitely a fight. Oh! They're still going at it. The referee's trying to get between them, but I don't think he's going to have any success. Oh, the referee has thrown this match out. And both competitors still battling out inside the ring. And Titan looks like he's getting the best of them now. become a distraction. But the match is over at this point. And now, uh-oh. There's that master slam! A big, big choke slam! A little late now as this match is officially over. But he 
says, I am not done with this Titan yet. Oh, no, he's not going to do it again, is he? Oh, no! Come on! Enough's enough! What's he trying to prove? Once the match restarted? The referee said it's over. You restart the match by on your eyes right now. Now restart the match. Well, he has to do what he's told, after all. That is the owner of PTW. And there's the, yes, the match is officially restarted. One, two, uh, easy pickings, come on. Well, officially, your winner of the match, Chris Majors. Of course, it took a lot of politics. 34 seconds. This match is over. It took a lot of politics. What a shame, as that was an incredible match all the way through. Well, fans, what a great night it has been here at the PTW Sportatorium. I'm Sean Bossman, the boss of Pro Wrestling, saying so long for Brinkside.